Hi guys, Rose here with the Cackling Moon. I wanted to just do a quick little video where I do a reading for anyone who's watching. Um, it's been a while since I've been able to kind of just film. <laughs> um, and I miss you guys and I miss doing the videos. But like I said, the situation that I'm in right now makes it a little bit difficult. Um, the good news is, though, is the end of this month... Um, when did they say they're leaving? I want to say it's the last weekend of this month. Um, my family is going to be going out of town. And so that means they won't be here. And I can film. And I can be live. So I plan on doing, um, obviously, some videos. I'm going to try to film some, like, just some, maybe a deck review or um, a Q&A. Maybe I'll put a post out on Tumblr and Instagram for a Q&A session. Um, but I'm also going to be doing a live session, maybe two, maybe three, <laughs> depending on how many days they're going to be gone. I don't remember how many days they said, but I know for sure it's like two, um, but a live session. So if you guys are following me on Instagram, then you'll see, you know, me going live, but I did it last time that they were gone and it was so much fun. So, um, if you're not following me on Instagram, check me out, the cackling moon, follow me, subscribe to me. Do whatever you want to me. <laughs> um, and I will be on Instagram Live at the end of this month at least once while they're gone. If not, if not most likely more than that. Um, because I know a lot of you guys liked it and I love to engage with you. And it was so much fun answering questions and pulling cards and all that kind of stuff. And the hour fl flew by. I think it was like I, it flew by the first time and then I got kicked off and then I jumped back on it. Um, but yeah, so I'll definitely be going live on Instagram if you wanted to hang out with me. Um, otherwise, hopefully you'll be seeing some new videos that are not client readings on this channel. Um, and yeah, so we'll see what comes up. But it's been, you know, it's been good. I've been good. How have you guys been? How have you been enjoying your summer? Um, it's summer here where I'm at. I'm in California. Um, how have you guys been enjoying your summer? Is it, have you guys been doing anything? Have you been going on any trips, um, vacations. Um, I am thinking about going on a little vacation to visit family um, somewhere else in the other side of the United States. <laughs> um, but that's still up in the air. So if I do do that, this will, it'll be fun. If I don't, um, I think we're planning a big family trip in November. So I wanted to do something fun this summer. Um, I don't like summer. Summer is not my season. I don't like the hot heat. I don't like the sun. Um, but I wanted to do something meaningful <laughs> since I have the time. Um, okay, so I wanted to pull cards. What did I want to pull? I don't really have a reason why I wanted to pull cards. I just wanted to pull cards. I wanted to put a video out there since I have the time. Um, I was supposed to work on more client readings, but... I'm waiting on emails about questions for their readings, so I figured I will just take this time to put this video out. So let's get down to the table. Um, and I'm going to be working with the Wild Unknown. I've been obsessed with the Wild Unknown. I've been obsessed with this one, the Animal Spirit, um, and the Native Spirit, and the Oracle of Oddities. I put a post out a day or two ago on my Instagram showing what cards I've been obsessed with and I don't know I'm just feeling it these days with these I think it's funny how sometimes um, just certain decks will pop out you know okay so let's do a reading about the rest of the summer we were talking about that anyway so let's see seven of cups ooh three of cups the world. Wow. Those are pretty good cards. Okay. <laughs> Let me try to get this in the camera's view so you can see what I'm looking at. So we have the seven of cups, the three of cups, and the world, which to me is telling me lots of time 
being spent with the people we love. Now, this is so accurate for me because um, I just said goodbye to one of my really good friends. She's moving. She moved, actually. Yesterday, she left. Um, and Friday night wasn't the last time that I was going to be spending time with her until she comes back to visit, um, you know, whenever. So to me, that was like my time. That was, you know, my seven of cups and my three of cups energy. That's my socializing. That was my time to spend with my friend who's now going to be gone and going to be long distance from me. So that was a little, it was a little hard. It was a little sad, but at the same time, I was genuinely excited and happy for her because she is going to be embarking on new journeys in her personal life and her career. Um, but I do see for me personally, the seven of cups and the, and the three of cups is like a time of socializing and gathering. And I feel like summer energy is all about that. I feel like, um, in the summer seasons, we do want to touch base with friends that we haven't talked to in a while. We want to touch base with, you know, going out more because the, the weather is, you know, it, even though it's freaking hot, um, at night it's beautiful. It's nice and warm and you don't have to wear a jacket and you can be out late and it just feels so good. So I feel like the summer summer season is naturally a time for all of us to want to get together, to hang out, to mingle, um, have barbecues, have bonfires at the beach, that kind of thing. Totally see that. I also see the world card as saying there's a lot of changing energy shifts, like energy shifts in general, but there's a lot of change taking place, a lot of um, graduation a lot of endings and a lot of new beginnings starting over. So I feel like this year was a very powerful year for many people. I'll just use myself and my friend for an example. For her, the world card coming up, um, you know, she's starting a new path, a new career life. Um, so and she moved. Other friends that I've had also are moving. They made big major changes. I made a big major change back in um, April. So it's just been a lot of shifts. So I do see that this summer season, not just the summer season, but this year in general, um, a lot of people are ending cycles and they're going to be starting fresh. So I love that. I think that that's really cool. Um, let's see. So we have the Father of Cups and the Daughter of Swords. Father of Cups to me is an energy of somebody who's very um, open and communication wise that they, they love to listen. They love to um, hear you out. They You speak from your heart. This is somebody who is a good listener, but they're also somebody who gives really amazing in-depth and insightful messages. Um, this is a person that you could talk to and share your whole life with. So maybe some of you guys are experiencing that. Maybe you have that special someone in your life. Maybe there's a someone like this that you want to have in your life or maybe you are this person you know and maybe these traits have been coming out of you more this season as we are spending time with friends and family too um the daughter of swords so to me the daughter of swords is somebody who um you may kind of have a, a little chip on your shoulder you may be a little bit um too eager to kind of get the ball rolling, um, especially for those of us who have ended a cycle, whether someone graduated or, like I said, you're moving on to a new job or um, you're moving out of your house and you're, you know, you're moving in general. Some, there's just lots of big changes, relationships. Um, but be careful with the chip on the shoulder attitude. I, that's just the vibe I'm getting. It doesn't always mean that this is what this card means, but my vibe is... Um, sometimes it gets to your head. So be very, just be very aware. Um, amazing changes like this, spending time with amazing friends. You have a lot of different energies uh, around you. Don't let it get to your head. Um, and also be firm with your communication. I feel like a lot of times if we are blending in with other people, and we are seeing and celebrating other people's successes that our own successes don't feel necessary. They don't feel as special. They don't feel as important. We tend to, um, what's the word? We tend to uh, compare ourselves to our friends. Um, a lot of times I feel like the summer season is that time where we get to gloat and talk about how amazing our lives are or whatever. And there's always that instance where you see, oh my gosh, they're doing so much with their life. What am I doing? <laughs> and we tend to compare ourselves. So I feel also the daughter of swords is kind of saying own yourself. Like she looks like she's owning it. 
Okay, she's she's still a young owl, but she's owning herself. She's standing tall. She you know she realizes there's a lot of beauty around her. There's also the color of the chakras surrounding her. Um, so I feel like that's saying you know to be very balanced in yourself, to be comfortable with you, but don't let this ego get to you. Don't have that chip on your shoulder because it's gonna rub people the wrong way. Um, it, it's like be humbled at the same time. Um, but I do feel like so some people might be struggling with the chip on their shoulder attitude and then other people are more so struggling with um, comparing themselves to the path of others. So don't try not to do that. It's it's you know, it's not a good feeling. Trust me. Um, I've been guilty of it. We're all human. Um, but if I could remind myself why I am special and why my path is legit for me, you know, it, it makes everything feel better. But and then finally, we have the Ten of Pentacles, which to me is, again, it's a gathering card. This is like the ultimate barbecue. This is the families. This is the friendships. It's, there's a lot of togetherness energy here this summer. I feel a lot of people are rekindling old relationships, rekindling old friendships. Um, I just feel like a lot of us are just feeling um, that togetherness vibe. I feel like a lot of us are... Just wanting to kind of touch base with people that we haven't talked to in a while. And so that's what this summer I'm seeing is about. A lot of celebrations. Like I said, there's people who have graduated. Got, they got new jobs. There's promotions. New relationships. Marriages. There's just a lot of stuff going on. Um, a lot of good vibes, though. I don't feel a lot of negativity here. I just feel like maybe the only thing most of us or, or a lot of us will struggle with um, is comparing our successes to other people because that that's bound to happen when you're hanging out with people who are going through way different things from you in life but you just have to remember why you are special so this is the oracle of oddities let's pull some cards so this is victory knowledge apathy okay so the, like I said, the energies are really strong this summer um, with wanting to get together and hang out with people. But I'm also seeing that towards the end of the summer, fall is where our apathetic nature is going to come into play. Um, apathy is, it means um, not being active in your life. You're not really feeling motivated. It's people who feel unmotivated. They don't feel inspired. They don't want to do anything. They just kind of want to keep life, their life as it is, okay, to keep it on that flow. And um, so apathy is, is definitely a card of fall. I feel like the fall season inspires some of us. It, I know it inspires me, but I know that the cold weather, when the weather starts to cool down, um, you know, those barbecues go away and the friends, you know, they're all going back to college or going to their jobs and the vacation is over. Um, and then we're kind of left with that attitude, that apathy, you know, that, the, that summer vibe, the sun glowing on our skin, that kind of thing is done. So I feel like as the summer is coming to an end, we're going to, a lot of us are going to be struggling with that apathy. The knowledge though, the knowledge is like, what did you learn this summer? Utilize the new bonds, the new friendships that you made, knowledge it, hold it, you know, carry it within and let it inspire you. Let it inspire you, especially when you're dealing with the apathy. Um, but kind of like don't forget everything that you've learned. I feel like victory is, is showing at the end of the summer, lots of us are going to be feeling really fulfilled, really important. Um, there's going to be a lot of... I'm getting the vibe of like a lot of friendships are going to be mended. Share your feelings. I feel like a lot of us have to really express what's going on deep in our hearts, especially when there's like certain friends that you have that maybe you haven't seen for a while. It's so important to do that. Yeah. So I feel like with the, the awareness, the voice, the breath card, the voice especially, voicing what's going on around you, what is going on in your heart. The breath card is kind of telling me, like, take that deep breath of faith and take the leap. <laughs> so I feel like some of you guys are going to be maybe expressing your, your deepest feelings to someone this summer. Um, and, you know, you're going to be learning a lot, maybe piecing together 
what happened when there was a, like that big fight between you and so and so. Um, you know the the rumors that were going around last summer. You know you're going to get knowledge. You're going to you're going to understand what happened just simply by talking. Um, victory to me is also kind of like successful with, um, like I said, rekindling old flames. Maybe some of you will be getting to back together with somebody. Um, but I feel like the one thing to just watch out for is definitely the apathy card. Um, I feel like this is going to be a fall thing. As soon as the weather starts to cool down, a lot of people are going to feel like they lost that pizzazz from the summer. Um, you know, and it's natural, it's normal, but that's when you got to dive in deep and figure out where does your initial happiness come from. You know, it doesn't always have to come from someone else. So where does it come from for you? And I feel like that's cool with the awareness card. Being aware of yourself, even though you know how other people are and what's going on in their lives and it's cool to, to mingle with friends, being aware of you um, and what your needs are is very important. I don't know. I feel like I'm just rambling now. <laughs> so, um, I think that that was a pretty cool reading. What do you think? I don't know. Uh, what else? I don't know. I don't really have any big major things to update you guys on. Um, everything's pretty much the same over at the Cackling Moon Shop. Um, I have a couple of new services open in the shop, like new readings. I've been totally into the instant readings. Every once in a while, like I'll have free time where I can sit with my laptop and just wait for messages to come in. Um, the instant readings seem to be pretty popular at times. Um, but I don't know. I just like that ability to be able to have that option for people. If you need a reading like right away, within a 24-hour time frame, I will be here. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I don't think there's really much else I can update on. I just wanted to put another video out there because I have the time. Um, but anyways, I will let you guys go. Um, leave me comments. I like to read your comments. Um, if you have any questions, anything you would like to see in a future video, let me know. Um, otherwise, I will see you guys later. Bye, guys.